What's up, everybody? Welcome to Columbus, Ohio. We are about to tour the most dangerous neighborhood in this city, according to Google. This area has the highest crime rate of Columbus, Ohio. This city, I have liked it a lot. As we travel through most places, 90% of the time, everything you hear me say about a city is usually going to be negative. I don't like a lot of places, but this city, I've liked it somehow. And now this is the most dangerous area according to google this is the most dangerous neighborhood in the city franklinton um I, the radio stations here have been nothing but fire from rap to country to uh, rock this city really keeps the radio bumping and a lot of the large cities you go to the radio stations suck they got good radio stations playing great music there's a mirror right there for franklinton and again according to google this is the highest uh crime rate neighborhood in the city so we're going to drive around and see what it's really about i like the city a lot and i like detroit a lot too which uh, it's not a city you hear great things about mostly but i did like detroit i did like columbus ohio a lot so it looks pretty quiet today the temperature is 54 degrees it's a friday it's one o'clock in the afternoon and it feels great to be here also not and at least a rap station everything they're playing is artists from florida so back to back miami and jacksonville uh, artists on the radio up here so it's just interesting how florida culture can just kind of end up everywhere so we're going to take some of the back streets and look at the neighborhoods looks pretty quiet today i don't know if it's a time of day or you know the fact it's kind of overcast but it looks very quiet it doesn't look I mean, you can tell it's a bad neighborhood but it doesn't look like tremendously bad um, doesn't look you know like litter everywhere and beat up but let's take some back street and see how rough it looks at least the main street didn't look all that much here we have a little bit of litter in front of this house right here a little bit of litter um, girls waiting around and stuff that's kind of interesting But uh, yeah, this is going to be the, the the worst neighborhood in Columbus, Ohio, according to Google. And now in here, you can kind of tell it's a little bit more more hood. Houses in here can be a quarter of the cost of what it would cost to live in a good neighborhood in the city. So around here for about $100,000, you can find a home in this neighborhood. But if you were to find yourself in a better neighborhood, you'd be paying uh, about $400,000 for a decent home. So there's a, there's a cost benefit of living in a neighborhood like this. Some of these don't look too bad though. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look as bad as some of the other places we've gone to. I mean, it just seems like it's hit or miss. Some streets like this street, the houses don't look too bad. Have you noticed how the city, um, seems very well integrated even in the bad neighborhoods yeah yeah that's a huge contrast to the south where neighborhoods are divided by uh, a race and stuff seems like here you'll see white people in really bad neighborhoods you'll see black people in really nice neighborhoods so it seems like in ohio at least in columbus the problems that you see magnified in other u.s cities especially in the south mm -hmm. are not as present here which is nice because it's overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. Especially with the type of content we do. This doesn't look that bad. I mean, you can tell it's an inner city neighborhood, but it's not like complete. Some of these are around now. Like that one right there is kind of vacant. Mm -hmm. But this street, I'd fix a house up on this street. Yeah. It doesn't look horrendous. It doesn't look that bad. Like... Actually, that house right there is either brand new or recently remodeled. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look horrendous. So Columbus seems like a great city, man. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's a terrifying place. It seems like even the hood's pretty decent. Tim Hortons are everywhere. Are they from Ohio? No. Or are they from Michigan? Like I think either Detroit or Canada. Mm, they're everywhere. Look it up. 
I think the hood doesn't look that bad. This looks better. The hood here looks better than a normal neighborhood in some cities. It's priced. Pretty decent city, man. Canada. I thought it was Canadian. Based in Toronto. There's a few people hanging around and stuff, but it's not like bad though. It's not like the same. Founded in Hamilton, Ontario. Hamilton, Ontario. So it's Canadian. Yeah. Right. A little bit of litter here. It's parking lot. Maybe some people hanging out over there, but it's not like. I don't know, it's like Ohio and Michigan, it seems like the north is not as bad as the south when it comes to those issues. It really seems like the, the north is a little bit more uh, logical. The south is horrible right now. I thought it would be a whole lot worse than this. Yeah. Can I see my property? Of course. See if I can track down some hoodland places on that. Mm -hmm. Actually, this does not even look that bad. Yeah. For lease. Like lease. I'll sign a lease contract for a house in the hood in Columbus Key. This one's got these got metal bars in the windows back here, so that's never good. See back in this little corner, everybody's got metal bars in the windows. So you usually you don't put up metal bars in the windows unless you're seriously concerned that and these people got improvised bars, so they, they're definitely concerned about breaking mm -hmm. You don't just put up metal bars for decoration. If you put up metal bars There's metal bars in the inside and one house. Yeah, 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 they get metal bars, so that a popo though? Yeah. Oh, I'm not even a popo. Let me ask him where to put it. Oh, he's with some money. So there is a problem. So yeah, it is a problem neighborhood. It doesn't look that bad, but if the cops are there talking to somebody, and you can almost assume it's a problem neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can pretty much assume it's a problem neighborhood if the cops are there talking to somebody right now. Yeah. A little bit of litter. And sometimes, you know, uh, but keep in mind that it gets frigid cold up here. So like in the south people can let their house fall to crap. Um, in the south people will let their houses fall to crap. But you know in, in, in the north they got a lot more snow and stuff. So it's going to be a deal where in the north people almost by law of nature have to keep their properties just in better condition and stuff. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of Louisville. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a little kid in Louisville, uh, we had just got to the United States, 1996, and they told us that you could go in the, in the city and people would dump f their old furniture. We had nothing when we came from Cuba. And um, so they told us that if you went, you know, in, into the city, that you could um, <clears throat> you could go collect uh, free furniture. And, the, and, and and what we would do is then we would drive around the neighborhoods. Um, you know, they told us you know if you go if you go into the city. You can collect uh, free stuff in the alleyway. So I remember as a kid, my uncle that had this beautiful white. Uh, he had a now he's Cuban, but he's black, black Cuban, and he had this beautiful white Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I'm talking like, like the '90s type of stuff. You know what I mean? So he had his Coupe de Ville. He had his Cadillac, and then we would go. It was white with red interior. And he had a gold ring on every single finger. And we would go in his Cadillac. He took us in his Cadillac to, to the hood, like park the wall and all that. Because people were dumping stuff and parked the wall back then. Mm -hmm. 
behind the alleyways and park the wall. People were dumping stuff. So he would take us to park the wall and we would drive around his Cadillac putting like furniture in the trunk because we had nothing. He used to have a gold finger on every ring. Cadillac, red interior, white. You know, spoke wheels were popular on that those things back then. But uh, just um, this reminds me of those days, you know. We would go around. We had we had nothing. We just come from Cuba. We got our first place, and uh, I guess you know if when we moved, we had like some furniture mm -hmm. because we, you know the government housing the projects. I guess they came with like you know a sofa or you know whatever the previous tenants had left in there. It wasn't great, but it was useful. Mm -hmm. So when we finally moved out, we had to go get our own stuff. So we would go drive around, park the ball with his Cadillac through all the alleyways, looking through the garbage, see what we could find. And it was just my uncle. Did um, you ever find anything good? Yeah, we found like a dresser, which, you know, back then was like 20 bucks. So $20 yeah. was $20 back then, you know yeah. what I mean? Back then, $20 was $20, not like today. Back then, things were different. I mean, they were getting paid, I think, $5 an hour, five twenty-five, to work on mobile ladder. So, but this this drive through here kind of reminded me of those days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've liked this city a lot. Yeah, me too. I really have. Um, even the food seems agreeable. Red Door Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Even the hood seems agreeable. Not bad. Well, is this light ever going to change or what? Mm. I love how there's white people in the hood here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Like, There's people here that are white and they're black. Mm -hmm. In most U.S. cities, when you go to really poor neighborhoods, just about everybody's black. Yeah. But here, you have white people right in the mix. Mm -hmm. Seems like Ohio's a very, um, let's white people be in the hood too. Why, why people want to be in the hood too? Come on, man. Let white people enjoy the hood as well. Yeah, this guy's white, he's running right through the hood. Very interesting. Louisville is kind of like that. Louisville's not too bad. It's become bad in the last few years, actually. Everything took place there. Like Katie, how do you feel about a white hood? This is very mostly white, from what I can tell. Yeah. It's either mostly white or 50 50. Yeah. Oh, snap! Look at the hood, baby. Mm -hmm. I think everybody should have the opportunity to, to live, live everywhere. Hood? Yeah, white people should be allowed to live in the hood too. Mm -hmm. Why would you get into a fancy neighborhood and live in a fancy house when you can live in the hood? White Hoods of America. And that's what a lot of people like in the South don't get like. And I'm glad we have a lot of audience in Tennessee, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of times um, they fail to notice a lot of times that, you know, like not everybody, not everything. Like, like I have people that come to our channel mm -hmm. from the South and like when I do our Tennessee and Alabama videos and stuff. Yeah. And they say stuff like, why you say hood? You can't say hood. You why? You can't say hood. There are plenty of white hoods in America. Yeah. Just not in your state because your state's different. It's in a bad way. Yeah. Like how many times like I, I can just go through my channel right now and find any video from Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi. And you got people telling you stuff like, oh, you know, you can't say hood. I had a lady trying to tell me that I couldn't say the word hood because I'm not black. Mm -hmm. Like, are you kidding me? Like, but that's the type of, you know, world they grow up in. Mm -hmm. They grow up in a world where it's like that. But here you come to Ohio, Michigan, up here, it don't really matter. Everybody's the same. Look, this is the hood right here. It's white people right Even there. Even Florida. Florida is not, not Florida still has its bad stuff. It does, but, yeah. you know. I think just with, with yeah. the race thing. I I've, I would have never considered the North because of the weather. Yeah. And look, they got a Michigan flag on the house. Yeah. yeah. I, well, we, we know if the weather, I would have never considered um, the North because of the weather. Mm -hmm. Look, there's a white person and a black kid, and they're from Michigan. Mm 
Cool. <laughs> they got the Michigan. See, there's a white girl and a black person right on the porch together. You know, like in the south, you don't see that. You know, like you got white people living in the hood out here. Look, they're white. They're living in the hood. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I hope that Ohio's like that. You know, mm -hmm. um, in Michigan too, the same way. You know, Michigan and Ohio people, they don't have the same old snap, a stand stop Monte Carlo, and they got spokes on it. Michigan. This Michigan. is a Michigan. This neighborhood. is a Michigan neighborhood. Everybody here is from Michigan. Yeah. Or they support the team. <laughs> I don't know. That's a very interesting observation that everybody in the streets from Michigan. It's like, let's just put all the people from Michigan in the worst neighborhood we got. <laughs> okay, this is not looking good for you, man. We go to the worst neighborhood in town. They're all from Michigan. Mm -hmm. it, it is actually nice to see that, yeah. you know, that. So we could actually move here to the hood. Yeah. And we wouldn't have a problem with the race thing. Mm -hmm. We might have to deal with crime or whatever, but you're not going to deal with, like, straight up discrimination. Yeah. Especially since you're from Michigan, so we could move here. Yeah. I think we, we should kind of... I like... I really, really like the city. Like, I don't even know if we should stay another day here or not. Maybe a day or two. Like, I really like the city a lot. Mm -hmm. We got to see what happens during the cold weather. But look, it's December and it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, there is global warming. <laughs> With global warming. This oh, might be yeah. New, this might get this some is beer. nice. <laughs> Dude, it's December. Look. Windows down. And tomorrow will be January. That's definitely hot right there. Yeah. It ain't that bad. Thanks yeah. to global warming, Ohio's not that bad anymore. Mm -hmm. Wow. I have thoroughly enjoyed the city. I mean, I can't even stress this enough. We could literally have got a house up here cash. We could still we get a house up here cash. cash. No, I mean like a decent house. Yeah. What's up with everybody in the, in the hood being from Michigan? I don't know. So they, they say hi to and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. This is a Michigan hood here. Everybody here is from Michigan. They just parked here. Let this car pass. They seem to be going somewhere. I'm sure it'd be cheaper to register the car here than in Florida. Yeah, well, the thing is, you don't want to have a $40,000 car here because it's going to rot to crap. You want a yeah. car like this that's already got some miles and... Yeah, we could just sell that one. Oh, look, they got little elves on their front porch. Yeah, it's popular. Dude. Over here. I'm just needing time to soak this in. I, I can't even believe what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. This is not what I expected. I expected it to be like every other hood we've ever gone to. Mm -hmm. No. White people from Michigan have turned a neighborhood in Columbus into a hood. That's why you don't want people from Michigan to move to your state. They will turn your state into a Michigan hood. It's already happened in Florida. <laughs> it's like a white hood. It's, it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I got that thing stand stop. I actually like this. Mm -hmm. Now, the crime rate's pretty crappy. We haven't seen any, like, crime, have we? Like, actual? No. Dude, it seems like a li really chill, awesome city. Even the hood seems chill. You've got, like, everybody hanging out I bet together. they got some good food there. Yeah. Like, look at that. There's like, I wish I'd been driving the other direction. You got black yeah. people, white people, everybody's just hanging out together. The sun finally came out. Beautiful. A bunch of old men hanging out together. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> look at this street right here. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I really like this street. Dude, area. I have fallen in love. Now, this street's more gentrified here. Yeah, I think yeah. this area is getting gentrification. Yeah, it's fun when the sun came out. So, this is really the city's worst neighborhood for real? Apparently. I think some of the hoods we saw on the south side were worse than this. Can we go to the south side and, and where, where we started the tour earlier? Because that definitely yeah, seemed fine. that Houses definitely seemed in this more neighborhood hood. are 80,000, 89? No. More? Yeah, do you want to see the damage? I saw houses for 89,000 and they were needed. In work. this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Cheapest house on here is like like Cross the way and it's like a uh, hundred and eight. One hundred eight thousand. That's nothing. Mm -hmm. Dude, like a hundred thousand dollars is. But nothing. there's houses up to like ha close to half a million in this area. Yeah, yeah. Once you get into the better neighborhoods. No, in this. There has to be like worst parts. Like this is no way. This is the city. This is really their worst neighborhood. Like no freaking way. The prices are so contrast. Look at it. Yeah, yeah, it is. 
and you're close to downtown. I like it. And thanks to global warming. Global warming. Global warming has really made Ohio better. Look at this. It's December. And it's like. And tomorrow it will be J oh, okay. oh, snap. One snap, more? yeah. Uh, I don't want to get on the highway. Why can't I go that way? I wanted to go that way. Turn here and you won't have but, to. But I like that one. What's your bet? Want to try checking out the south side of the city, see if there's hoods there? Yeah, that's it. I, I mean, because this yeah. there's homeless people here, that's normal in every every mm -hmm. city this size. Oh, this looks pretty hood over here, too. Is this a one way as well or no? Yeah. This looks kind of hood over here. Mm -hmm. Those houses over there for sure look hood. Can I see my real quick? Mm -hmm. I'm not in the training lane. I'm in the training lane. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead. Now I got like four cars coming. Yeah. Are they going to let me pass? Yeah. Okay. I'm not supposed to do that, There's but I did. There's a guy conducting a symphony. <laughs> this is probably close to downtown. This isn't the prettiest looking neighborhood, but it's not like... I want to skip on this neighborhood that little bit, but I just keep it moving. Then we can run down to the south side and see what they got going on. Sure. I think we picked up a nail. Or maybe a rock. I hear it. Do, 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 do. You hear it? I might have picked up a nail. There's something back there making a noise in the shark bed. No, it's a, it's a, it might be a nail on its tire. You hear it? Let me stop for a rock and check it out real quick. Gentrification going on all through here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna check and make sure it's not a nail. Okay. So you keep them busy for a second, Katie. This will be quick. Yeah. This won't be long. I just wanna make sure we're gonna pick up a nail. Yes. Nice ass. A rock. Cool. <sighs> Good thing it's a rock. Yeah, no problems, no worries. No worries, no worries. Oh, oh pigeons! They got pigeons right yeah. there. They got wild scrubadors. Scrubby, scrubby scrubadors. Scrubadors. I guess we could check out the south side hoods and see what that looks like. No brew dog, no river reach. What the crap is that? Mm -hmm. That's brew dog. I think it's a restaurant hotel, There's like a, a beer museum a restaurant hotel. A bunch of mirrors over here. Yeah. A bunch of mirrors. Let me head back over there. Did that tree just get TP'd? Mm -hmm. A bunch of mirrors. You see the skyline over here, beautiful skyline. Complaints there. The real streets of Columbus, Ohio. The grimy streets. I, I can literally say this without a word because you're from Michigan, we're married. But I'm pretty sure people from Michigan are like the most gangster people in this town. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like Miami, they got Cubans and Haitians, and that's like the that's a people. homeless. Homeless little camp up ahead? Yeah. Check it out. You know, like in Miami, we got Cubans and Haitians yeah. and Jamaicans and those are the hood people. Yeah. Like, I think the hood people here are people from Michigan. Yeah. Like if you're from Michigan here, you're like, oh, mm -hmm. those people from Michigan have really ruined our state. Mm -hmm. That's not a homeless camp, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it? Or, no, it's just a project. That's not a project. That's yeah. someone's camp. No, that they're building something. They're oh, building. Okay. There's a lot of homeless camps though, so keep a good eye out. Yeah. Look at these new buildings that they've built over here. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Do not enter. Only millennials are allowed. You gotta go this way. Yeah, this way. This is this how millennials. Very new. Yeah, millennials are 
I wonder if I need help unloading that box truck. I'm ready to work. Sweet deal how they were able to back it up right up to the building. Mm -hmm. The real streets of Columbus, Ohio, where people from Michigan run rampantly through the city. <laughs> yeah. ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. he wearing? What are these millennials wearing? Wow, oh, look at the feet. Nice little pieces right there. Great stuff, you know. I think we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere now. At least one way tripped me up, bro. That's a one way. That's a one way. They're all one ways. Uh, are you trying to go this way then? I love how they're all one ways. Like it's really tr trips you up because you're thinking. Like I look at the map and I say, oh, I'm just gonna go down this road when this road turns into one way. Like, ah. Dude, the city is incredible. Look at the downtown on this side. I would love to see this place covered in snow. Yeah. Which is Sunday. Mm-hmm. There's a German village. Mm -hmm. There's a Hungarian village. That can't be the hood. What was the street we came up yesterday? I don't know. I'm gonna get me some Uggs. Are we gonna go to Michigan or what are we doing? Yeah, we can do that. You wanna go get that thing you talked about? Call your family members and let them know. Yeah. Um, can we drive if it's snowing or like how's uh, that work? Let me put in her number. This kid's got swagger. That swagger in his walk. Uh, uh, boom. It's not like can we drive through a few inches of snow or like I don't know what we're supposed to do. It's not gonna snow a lot, it's just gonna be a little bit, right? You can drive through a little bit of snow, so it's just not like... Well, the problem is... It's going to rain, and then it's going to snow. So if we can get to Big Rapids... Tonight? But I really wanted to do Columbus, and I mean, uh, the Cincinnati and all that. Oh, that sucks. What are we doing, man? You know what Tennessee videos have done great every single time? Yeah. North Florida Ten North Florida and Tennessee have been our best. Oh, this is that street we were on yesterday. Okay, I remember. Cool. Yeah, this is that street we were on yesterday. Which, if you go north of here, by the way, it's really beautiful. We did a night drive through there. We'll upload that. You guys will see us driving northbound of this street. Irish flag right there. Lacking diversity. That's about really one of the biggest downsides of this town. It's just there's literally a lack of diversity. 
But if everybody that is here gets along, then that's beautiful. Oh, just whenever it is, yeah. Ask her if, if she still has it. Tell her you're oh, in Ohio. Oh, I know if she has it. Ask her. Mm-hmm. So we're picking up stuff in Michigan and Kentucky? Uh, possibly, yeah. Okay, that's cool. This is beautiful. through the snow though. It may make sense to stay in Ohio until after the snow passes and then once it all passes then we can go there. But I'll tell you it's gonna be like in the teens after the front passes. Yeah yeah I know. Was it like a little bit further south of here where it kinda of looked a little harder? Not sure. I love that the sun's finally coming out. Even just briefly well, even though it's like on a cloudy day, it still has life. There's still people walking around doing stuff. Okay, it looks like the snow is coming tonight around 7. And then it'll stop by like 1 or 2 in the morning. And then it won't snow again until Wednesday. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. But it doesn't rain because in Ohio, you're going to get rain first. And then that, that yeah. rain will turn the ice and you'll get snow yeah. on top. Yeah, that will be so it's gonna be a nightmare here in Ohio. Yeah, we be, could be in Michigan in a few days. You'll be in Michigan tonight, it's a four, six hour drive. Yeah, yeah, let me see what she says. Let's see what hotels are going for up there, too. Oh, yeah, I already picked one out Big Rapids or, uh, or Grand Rapids. Yeah, it's gotta be the G. Grand Rapids, mm -hmm. text her. I've already texted her. <sighs> yeah, we gotta decide where to go north or south. White Castle. Yeah, I, I, I text her and I'll wait. She'll text me yes or no. I guess even if we're in a big city, it doesn't matter if it's snowing. How far are we from Detroit? Detroit. GPS just Detroit, not not um not. I know it was five hour, five and a half hours to Grand Rapids. How much is it for? It's kind of about three and a half hours. That's it? Yeah. Three and a half hours. So we could eat dinner in August then. Yeah. I like Detroit, <laughs> man. I'm telling you. I can't believe I like this region of the country. This is what blows my That's what you're not answering. Oh, we're already in it. We gotta go quick. Oh my God. That guy's not even paying attention. I, know, no, no. I was like, what the heck? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get out here quickly. This is the hood, man. This looks more hood, though. We'll find out if this is really the hood. Right here, okay. Yeah. Alright, we'll find a one way. So this kind of looks a little bit more hood. I, I like Detroit a lot. Yeah. You know, I really did. Yeah. Our, and one of our Detroit videos got six, 7,000 views. How much did our Detroit videos do? The thorns in the suburbs got very little views. I love how people say, oh, people only show the bad side of Detroit. Okay, so we show the good side of Detroit and nobody watched it. I'm sure, yeah. what, how, our Detroit hood videos, how many visit it again? Detroit, uh, um, let me go in. Let's go back to our Michigan videos. How many videos did those videos get? All right. <laughs> Row houses. I don't think the little towns did really well, but Detroit did pretty good. So you want to go back to our, just go to our timeline and scroll back to Michigan. Every video is over a thousand. That's not a lot. We could have done a video. No, no, no. There was a video that was like 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Right, so I want to see what they got. If they did good, we can go back. So this is our Michigan videos? Yeah. 8 mile radio only got 2,000. That's nothing. The road streets of Detroit got 8,000. Right, Michigan, Michigan. Not Detroit, not Detroit right, Michigan. The Michigan video. If the Michigan videos didn't get that many views, then it's really not worth going back. Uh, Toledo did really well. Yeah. 
But again, that's Ohio, and that's where we are now. I think we're gonna have to skip on Michigan, baby. One. Mm. The squirrel was like not afraid. There's a video you didn't um. Upload from Michigan. Yeah. What, which one? The why do companies refuse to? Oh, right. Yeah, I can't upload that. I can't do that yet. That's gonna go. I know I didn't do that. Yeah. But don't for now. Okay. Nine thousand, two thousand, eight thousand. Hmm. There's another. There's more Michigan fans than there are Ohio fans here. That makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? I don't know. Maybe it's just the section of the city or something. I don't know. That's been weird. Yeah. Like I thought we would get stoned for being Michigan fans up here. Yeah. And there's actually a lot more Michigan fans than you can imagine. Okay, I'm gonna quit trying to find hoods because it doesn't even seem like there's really that many hoods here. Like, there's little rough patches here and there, but it's not like straight up, just massive hoods. Yeah, I think it's pretty nice. You notice there's a lot of people from New Jersey too? Mm-hmm. What people don't realize about this area is mm -hmm. that this area, all oh, these row houses, we said a row hood by. These row houses, uh, these, this region of the country doesn't get that much snow. It's kind of sheltered. Where if you go anything, like, like Detroit for example, every hour you go outside of Detroit, it's like a foot more snow. Like, Troy gets more snow than Detroit. And if you go out to, like, an hour north of Detroit, they're really yeah. getting snowed out. Mm -hmm. Two hours from north of Detroit, it's like a whole different world. Yeah. Okay, this might be more hood here. Mm -hmm. Maybe the further south you go, the more it deteriorates. Mm -hmm. There's still people biking around and stuff. It's not like a hood, you know? Yeah. Strange. It just seems like they're... Biking with their families. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't seem like it's a bad area. Like, no. Like we're trying to look for the bad stuff and Yeah. It's hard to even find it. Yeah. Like I haven't seen a spot a corner where I've been like, oh I'd be afraid to get off here. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen like a single like spot where I'd be like, oh I wouldn't want to get out here. This looks scary. No, it's not like that. And they have a very bad uh M rate either way. Yeah. So I'm, I must be like, you know directed at certain people or like people that are in it or something. It doesn't seem like you're just gonna like it's really gonna pop off. And that guy walking up the sidewalk, me and him he just made eye contact. Mm -hmm. He looked at me, I looked at him. Yeah. And he didn't try to look hard or whatever. No. A very chill statement. Mm -hmm. Wonder if we like missed where we're supposed to. I don't know. Maybe we missed the hood. We had like really hit up the real hood. I'm not sure. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, we could go toward. Find a know. scrapyard. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to go back to yeah. our own money. Find out where the scrapyard is, and it'll be. Oh, that looks pretty hood back over there. Yeah. It's a one way. Find out where the scrapyard is. The hood will be nearby. That's like the one business that always wants to be near the hood. Like the scrapper, it's like, you know what, we need to be in an yeah. area where people are willing to knock. Okay, so let's go to Dayton, Ohio. Yep. Dayton, Ohio. I thought it would require you using a GPS. I could do that. This kind of looks rough back in here. A little bit. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Parsons Avenue. Slow down. Looks like seen better days. Mm -hmm. 
we have Head another from Dave Ryan. Is this door my housing? In 400 feet, oh, yeah, turn left onto East Barthman Avenue. Turn Avenue. left on East Barthman Avenue. Is it rude to ask people where the hood at? Apparently, so far people have not reacted white. So no. Like, what the hood at? They're like, sir, you're in the hood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got scooters. I got scooters. You turn here. Left or right? Left. Left. You left me. Street toward Reeb Avenue, then turn left onto Reeb Avenue. Watch your mouth, Siri. Turn left onto Reeb Avenue. There's two ways again there. One of them takes us through highways, and another one takes us through. Well, oh, oh, hi. I'm actually gonna go right. Just to do the, this is the one. There might be hoods on this one. I'm not sure. There's some board up houses and stuff. I think out of all the cities in America, this is one of the cities that I really yeah. want to go Street, then turn right onto 8th Street. And I was a little skeptical right about the YouTubers Street, then turn right onto East Avenue. that have made the videos mm -hmm. about how Columbus was the best city in the country. I was like, really? I do like it a lot. I like it. What's this Beach infinity Street. store? East it on Reeve Avenue towards South Washington Avenue. In 800 feet, turn right onto Parsons Avenue. Oh no, there's one street I do want to make a video of. It's called Cleveland, before we leave. Okay. And it's on this side over here. Okay. There's, um, it runs right through Human King. Turn right onto Parsons Avenue. Oh, there might be some hoods over here. Um, there's a street called Cleveland. Yeah, there might be some hoods, just we haven't found them yet. Um, mm -hmm. I see homelessness, but I don't see anything There's like... There's a street called Cleveland. That says... Oh, but that's yeah. far from here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go this way. Somebody lost their dress. How's that happen? How do you lose your address? Everything one dollar. Shoe one dollar. Hat one dollar. Everything one dollar. Now I'll tell you that one time we spent one dollar. One dollar. Parsons Avenue toward East Indus Avenue. One dollar. Very few. Is there a Spanish neighborhood here? There might be a Spanish. Just right, like. Or Spanish, or, uh, I don't know, Mexican. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You think there's a Spanish right here? Left onto Southwood Avenue. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think there is. We drove through here at night. Remember this? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this area looked a little, but it doesn't look like really, really no. good. And there is a lot of homelessness, but they seem to just kind of mind their own business here. Yeah. They're not like all up in your face. That little corner store looks mm -hmm. pretty good. Like there is a lot of vagrant homeless people, but they they don't seem to like bother you. Yeah. They're not like in your face, like you know, like in other places. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure they could. What is this guy's? Your pants are gonna fall off, man. What, what is it going on? Why is his pants like that? I don't know. I think he turned left on the Maybe he pooped himself. Avenue. Poor kid. Know. He's got a problem or a disorder or something. Yeah. You should never make fun of people like that. Parsons Avenue toward East Jenkins Avenue. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Freebus Avenue. Someone's going to turn left, but I'm, I'm enjoying this too much. Okay, then turn it off until you're ready to go. I'm going to go north, actually. TJ. DJ.
Turn left onto Freebus Avenue. This kind of looks a little hard. I like it. Head north on Parsons Avenue toward Hanford Street. In a quarter mile, turn left onto East Eschler Avenue. Red, your car. Someone's car, blue car. This ain't bad for being December. You go to some places in December, you're just like, man, this is depressing. Ah, oh, and they got red lights on camera. I'm pretty sure that's a ticket right there. Right? Mm -hmm. Almost certain that's going to be a ticket. Mm -hmm. They seem like they would have red light cameras out here. Mm -hmm. Parsons Avenue toward Klein Street. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto East Whittier Street. Sorry, my dear console. It's almost a shame to leave this place. Turn left onto East Whittier Street. Oh yeah, bikers. How's it look heading towards the right? Oh, that's where does that look good? Like anything else? Yeah. We tried. We tried. Get that. Hey, Con. We tried. Art is called an art tropologist. Let's just say we could fly into. Yeah, fly into. Driving, driving is horrendous. Panera. Hospital or a children's hospital? Children's hospital. You said children. Children. In a quarter mile, use the right lane to take the I 71 north ramp to Cleveland. Ah, to do what I saw, man. Use the right lane to take the I 71 north ramp. Me estás cayendo mal, mi hermano. Con ese manto surroso. In a quarter mile, continue on to I-71 North. Do you have a problem with me turning into an angry Cuban every once in a while? Have I Talking about it? angry Cubans, every like news report out of Le Lehigh Acres. Yeah. You know, since we've been gone, it's all been Cubans. Oh. One like the wildest crap. Ever. Like you see what? the news? Uh, I don't want to talk about specifics because I might, you know, you're small, small town stuff, but. Oh. Yeah. yeah. yeah but if, if you just look at the news reports for the last few days, like every single thing going on. Continue on to I 71 North and use the right two lanes to take exit 109A. Yeah, they get their aggression out 
out before the end of the year. <laughs> it's like, I mean, like the most insane criminal like cases straight out of Hialeah. Use the right two lanes to take exit 109A, then keep right at the fork. Keep right. What am I doing at the right? Whoa. Keep right at the fork. Keep right at the fork. Scary moving up there. You see the, the clothes hanging off the balcony? Okay, buddy. Uh, 
Oh, that was not cool at all, man. He almost purposely tried to run us off the road. Yeah. Get off your phone, woman! Me? No, never. Alright. Can I talk to you like that? Cincinnati since I was a little kid. Yeah. It never took me to Cincinnati. Yeah, I never, like, I've never, like, I, I can kind of say it's like, like, I've been to it kind of on the Kentucky side, but I haven't really been there. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be my first time really being there. Mm -hmm. I mean, grow up, growing up in Louisville, you know a lot about Cincinnati because they're so close to each other. I mean, it's yeah. a beautiful city. Me being an architectural sucker, hood sucker, I'm gonna love this town. Huh, I'm a hood sucker. That doesn't sound right. I am a hood sucker. <laughs> that don't sound right. We were in one town and I saw that as like they put it on someone's house. What? Think about it. Yeah. Well, it's kind of suburbs over here, though. Yeah. I'm trying to save some suburb cars. Although they all look exactly the same. Our local videos have done great, too. Yeah. <coughs> and they don't do good right off the bat. Yeah. They progressively get views. Yeah. Like we all put them to our channel and our audience is like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Our audience is never excited about our little videos. Yeah. But if once it stays on the internet, people in Louisville look up a lot of Louisville stuff. Yeah. So. Cat. It's probably look more suburban around here. Every suburban exit has like the same exact thing. Yeah. A Cracker Barrel, a few hotels, a yeah. gas station, a Publix. You know, it's like every single like suburban yeah. place has like the same exact thing going on. That's everywhere. Yeah. A Ford dealership, it's like in Prattville. <laughs> it cracks me up. Like this exit here has like every single thing the Prattville exit had. A Ford dealership, Cracker Barrel, it's like the same exact thing, bro. Yeah. Suburban America has no variety. That's the thing about the United States, man. No matter what state you're in, oh, you get the same. Oh, we're the Timberbrook community. <laughs> we lost one of our mobile subscribers. Yeah. He's had it with my rants, by the way. Oh, yeah. All right, there it is. 